The Requirement Traceability Report helps track the relationship between your test cases and project requirements, ensuring thorough testing and improved software quality. If you are yet to set up an integration with a third-party issue tracker, you can learn more about installing an integration app from the articles in our Help Center. To generate a new report, click the Create a New Report button. Give a title to your report. Select the projects and the issue types, then proceed to generate the report. Allow a few moments for the report to be generated. You may leave this page and come back to it later while the report is being generated. The report is a point-in-time snapshot of the relationship between your case test cases and the requirements from an external issue tracker integrations like JIRA. You can create new versions of the report as needed. At its core, the report provides visibility into the total number of linked and unlinked requirements, allowing you to assess test coverage statuses effectively. Right at the top, you can see the external projects that are used for the report and the total linked, unlinked requirements. Reviewing the linked requirements can help ensure that each test case is aligned with your project requirements and verify that all project objectives are adequately covered by the testing process. For each linked requirement, you have additional context about the test cases that are linked. For instance, you can prioritize test cases based on their latest execution status and test cases that have failed in the latest round can be given immediate attention to address any issues. By reviewing the status of defects associated with test cases, you can track the progress of defect resolution. This will help ensure the reported issues are addressed promptly. To ensure you're aware of any discrepancies between requirements and test cases, an icon is displayed next to the test case to alert if the linked requirement has been updated recently. Additionally, the time of the last update of the test case is also displayed here. When it comes to the current status of the requirement, you can view it here, along with a timestamp of the latest update made to the requirement at the time of generating the report. Lastly, you can search and filter these requirements for the following attributes. The requirement status, the latest test run status of the case, and the defect status. You can easily switch between these tabs to view the linked or unlinked requirements. Analyzing unlinked requirements can help identify any testing gaps or areas of concern. Unlinked requirements may indicate aspects of the project that have not been adequately tested, allowing you to focus your team's efforts accordingly. You can switch between different versions of the report here. The report dashboard provides a quick overview of all available report versions, highlighting the number of linked and unlinked requirements to help you track the increase or decrease in the number of linked requirements. Linked requirements indicate alignment with project goals, while unlinked ones signal potential testing gaps. You can edit the report version's name or delete it from the three-dot menu. In the Reports Overview section, you can view all available reports, their corresponding external projects, and the number of versions available for each report. From here, you can generate new versions of the report, edit the report name, or delete reports as needed. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.